It's a rare disease and it can be fatal. The number of fungal meningitis cases in Texas is growing and all of them are linked to cosmetic surgeries performed in Mexico. Tonight we get an update from KVU's Bob Buckaloo. So small and so deadly. Fungal meningitis seen under the microscope. It's a rare disease, but the outbreak that began earlier this year has health experts worried. A growing number of Texans are getting sick. Some have died. They were exposed to fungal meningitis after visiting clinics in Matamoros for cosmetic surgery. Officials identified two facilities associated with the outbreak, Riverside Surgical Center and Clinica K3. Both have been shut down. Fungal meningitis affects the covering of the brain. Symptoms can include headache, fever, stiff neck, nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light, and confusion. So the people who are getting uh, this fungal meningitis have had epidural anesthesia, meaning they had a small needle put into their back around their spinal cord and had anesthesia that way. This week, the CDC reported nine confirmed cases, but many more are suspected. Six people have died, including Lauren Robinson from Vider near Beaumont. Her husband, Garrick, said at first her cosmetic surgery seemed to be successful. The results were great. Everything was good. She started going back to work. And then she just kept constantly telling me, hey, you know, I have a headache. Something's not right. Lauren was 29 and the mother of four children. There has not been a cause found yet. Um, We just know that it's the same uh, fungus that we're seeing in multiple people that have procedures at these clinics. And so we assume that there was um, some contamination that happened uh, during those procedures. The CDC says anyone who had procedures under epidural anesthesia in the Matamoros clinics from January 1st to May 13th this year is potentially exposed and is at risk for a potentially fatal disease. They should see their doctor to get checked out, regardless of whether they're feeling symptoms. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.